Well, well, well. We are back, come full circle, and now I'm reviewing the business class laptop again, just like I did almost four years ago, except this time, HP's EliteBook is sporting a lot of fancy parts, including one of the new Ryzen 7 Pro processors. This has to be one of my favorite mobile CPUs on laptops for the year 2020. Are you ready to see it? Let's rock and roll. I'm reviewing these three 14 inch laptops from HP and today it's their EliteBook 845 G7. This is a business class laptop that's lightweight and powerful. HP calls this their office navigator. This is one of their higher end SKUs featuring an eight core Ryzen 7 Pro, the 4750U with Vega integrated graphics. We have fast dual channel memory, half a terabyte NVMe storage with a shorter M.2 slot available. We have Wi-Fi 6, with its antenna located near the top of the lid for improved speed over range. I was surprised and thrilled to find the memory, storage, and Wi-Fi are all user replaceable and upgradable. The 53 watt hour battery lasted me anywhere from eight to 12 hours for always on use and over 15 hours of video playback. This means it'll go much further for the mobile individual that closes their laptop while on the move. I think most users will see about one to two days between charges, but in a pinch, the 845G7 should add about 50% charge in 30 minutes. The low wattage Ryzen 7 Pro processor is incredible and suits this laptop nicely. The overall thermal design is set up to maintain maximum performance under load with respect to fan noise and skin temps. Take this unlikely two hour gaming binge test for example. Temps run into the low 80s near 36 decibels with skin temperatures under 40 degrees Celsius. The low power requirements of this Ryzen processor offers performance on battery that is nearly indistinguishable compared to its performance connected to the power supply. The performance experience in office and on the move has been very consistent with each other. The 845G7 has a rigid, all-aluminum chassis that stands up to the strain of frequent sanitization and common household stains like crayon and ink. It was put through drop test standards that beat their competitors, better withstanding accidental drops that compromise the chassis, display, or even failure to boot. I will add to this at the very end of the video, so don't miss it. So far, I find this Elite Book extremely durable, and I would even feel comfortable letting either one of my children use this unattended. Port selection on the left-hand side, we have a lock, two USB 3.1 ports, one of those is for charging, a headphone mic combo port, and a smart card reader used for identifying user credentials for laptop access. Very useful in particular office environments. On the right side, we have a 4G LTE SIM slot, two USB-Cs, one features charging, we have HDMI 2.0 and the barrel power port that connects to the 65 watt power supply. The front edge tapers in where the lid and deck meet to aid in one hand opening. It will open nearly 180 degrees as well. For Windows Hello, there's two biometric solutions here via fingerprint reader and IR camera. The webcam can be blocked with a physical slider making the fingerprint reader solution conveniently relevant. Both will be functional at the same time, so you do not have to choose based on preference or situation. The glass Synaptics trackpad uses precision drivers and has dedicated buttons. Seriously, this is a very tight and precise feeling trackpad that I would love to see across all Windows-based laptops. The quality carries over to the keyboard as well with excellent spacing and zero key wobble. It's also spill resistant. There's an isometric track point pointing device centrally located on the keyboard as well, and it's coated in rubber. The white LED lighting can easily be seen through the black keys, which is an ideal contrast compared to silver keys often seen. Bang & Olufsen Audio has a well-balanced sound and proper speaker location. Have a listen. The 1080p matte display on this particular model came in at 100% standard RGB at over 300 nits. There was zero backlight bleed, 
This is a rock solid choice for most tasks this elite book would find itself in, minus direct sunlight. The 720p webcam and microphone located at the top of the bezel has a privacy shutter. I have always appreciated that. Now the microphone sounds going to be quite jarring, especially since you just got done listening to me on my studio grade mic. So keep that in mind. Now the video quality here is pretty decent at best, right? There's no ghosting and I do appreciate that. So video quality, not bad. Microphone quality by itself is also not bad. But once you apply it, intermittent ambient sound, such as me typing away on the keyboard, it will cut out my voice. And for a consistent ambient sound, such as me maxing out the fans on my editing laptop, no more than two feet away from this elite book, it too compromises the sound of my voice. So keep that in mind when you're using this laptop. It would be fine for Zoom meeting calls, things like that, but just make sure that you are not pecking away on the keyboard or listening to some loud ambient sound or else the individual may have a hard time hearing what you're saying on their end. BIOS options cater to the business class laptop too. There's more options in here than nearly every laptop I have in-house combined. All right, if you go back to around the two and a half minute mark, I talked about durability on this device and I would be talking about this more near the end of the video. Well, here we are. And what I want to discuss is more than just the durability tests and standards that HP has set. You see, I sat through a 90 minute workshop covering the 845G7 that I had reviewed today and the 1040 that I will be re reviewing next on the channel. And what we had learned is, you know, benchmarks, thermal performance, skin temperatures, all of the expectations and, and build standards that they have, you know, what you normally look at is fluff pieces, except this time, Everything that I was able to test personally in-house and compare it to what they came up with was nearly one-to-one. -one. Even the video playback that they had achieved 15 hours and 45 minutes, I was able to match that within 30 minutes of playtime. It was absolutely amazing just how accurate their testing was compared to mine. And I have to bring that to your attention because we need to see more of this and the fact that HP is willing to, you know, go that extra mile to maintain their integrity or ultimately just produce facts is really nice to see. You know what else is nice to see? Subscriptions and sweet videos. Check these out. Thanks for watching.